The governor is calling for a full investigation into the shooting of police officer Tarantino. Since his death, there have been a lot of questions about the alleged suspect and why he wasn't given a harsher prison sentence. Our Andy Masson joins us now with the story. Andy? Well, good evening, Trisha. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker plans to attend the wake later this evening in Charlton. Earlier today, we spoke with him about the shooting, and he called it an enormous tragedy. I want people to, to do the investigations thoroughly. Speaking in Worcester today, Governor Charlie Baker offered condolences for fallen officer Ron Tarantino, saying the Auburn community deserves a thorough investigation into what happened. Across the board with the criminal justice issues, with the, uh, the traffic stop incident where um, Officer Tarantino was killed and the ultimate uh, confrontation between the state police and, and, the, and the suspect. The man accused of killing Officer Tarantino, Jorge Zambrano, and his lengthy criminal record have come under scrutiny, many wondering why previous convictions didn't lead to a longer jail sentence. His twin brother, Giancarlo Zambrano, also appeared in court today on larceny charges. This was the scene at his Worcester home when we showed up. We tried to speak to someone about Zambrano, and a woman said, have a nice day, before closing the shades. What I'm really focused on is sort of the history of all this stuff up until this point in time, which I think uh, I think we really need to get to the bottom of. A swing by with a donation. Meanwhile, donations continue to pour in for Tarantino's family. Radio station WXLO joined forces with Diamond Auto Group on Route 20 to raise money for the Ronald Tarantino Memorial Fund. These men and women, they live next door to us and they're, they're part of our communities and we just need to do something to help. Pretty sad to see, but it's also uh, Auburn Strong, you know, Auburn Strong. And my prayers go to the family. And as the community mourns the loss of one of its officers, the investigation into Sunday's shooting continues. Anytime you lose a, uh, a police officer, a member of your law enforcement community, a first responder who is simply doing their job, um, that's a tragedy. Now, Zambrano appeared in court today in West Roxbury. He was supposed to be in court this morning, but there was a, there was a report out that he did not show, and there was a warrant out for him, but he appeared in court later this afternoon. Tricia, I'll send it back to you.